Hey guys, welcome back to WWE 2K15. I made my decision to stop uh, viewing the entrances because the little information that they give you isn't really worth adding in. It's just kind of a, re a recap of like pointless shit that you basically saw in the last match. So it's not really that Im important. And then again, neither is this stupid shit because it's just telling you the same stuff so I'm gonna skip that and we're going right to the next and gentlemen, this contest set for one fall is for the undisputed WWE Championship <laughs> the participants first fucking John from Cena. Chicago Illinois weighing 222 pounds WWE Champion C.M. Punk! C.M. Punk, huh? Yeah. And his opponent from West Newbury, Massachusetts. <laughs> Weighing to 140 pounds, he is WWE Champion. Like, they should have added the like little things where like the someone in the crowd would like catch his hat and then like throw it back like so many people have done to Cena in the past uh, King, what an emotional night tonight for the first time ever we have two WWE champions fucking Triple H the crowd, one champion here at SummerSlam the atmosphere mm. here is electric did you hear that ovation for CM Punk unbelievable this match is so important that Triple H, the game, the special guest referee to make sure that this thing is called down the middle. I wonder, like, if Cena's was actually, like, predetermined or, like, a pre-made title for this storyline, or was it, like, just a ultra-deluxe replica belt? Because, like, the replica belts that you can buy are pretty much the closest thing you can get to the actual belt itself. I've seen one and it, it yeah, they're pretty realistic. <clears throat> but I, I bet, like, because it was obvious CM Punk wasn't gonna leave. He's gonna take time off, but he's not gonna leave. Alright. Now I gotta beat Cena again. This is pretty much a rematch of. The first match we had. Oh, I can't do fucking submissions on him worth a shit. It's probably because this is John Cena's game. Anybody who's done research on that, you can... You can, uh... Pretty much agree. I'm pretty sure. Like, it's one thing when Cena basically gets to choose the music of the game, which I don't fucking like most of it. Like the um, Avenge Sevenfold and like Rise Against are pretty good, pretty good bands. But and then there's just like Flo Rida and all that other crap. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And uh, Cena also gets to pick um, like the topic of the game, so it's basically like rivalries. Hence, why like most of this showcase is basically him, mostly like based on him. I think it is. I'm not too sure. I haven't played through the entire thing yet. I think I've gotten like. Eight or nine matches in. But yeah, then he's also on the cover. So, <laughs> it's like basically a game made by John Cena for John Cena. I don't know. And once again, he's like the uh, the WWF No Mercy fucking equivalent of Triple H, where he just does not want to die. 
anyone who's played No Mercy on the N64, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Triple H did not fucking die in that game. And Cena doesn't die in this game. I believe this is how you do the suicide dive. I believe this is the suicide dive. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, if both of them get counted out, then they'll both retain their titles. That's not going to work. Triple H still counting. Oh, no, here he goes. I don't think I, I actually watched this match when it was like, oh shit. I don't think I really watched this match when it was live. I think I I caught it maybe like two months later or so. Oh fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, he goes for a pin there? Figured he would go for the attitude adjustment and just try to end it. Nope. Wow, I actually got out of that. Okay. I have one chance. Oh. Okay. Go for the attitude adjustment. Not the Anaconda Vice. Oh my god. Oh, this will wear him down. Alright, here we go. He's not getting out of this. Boom! Oh, rope break. Nope. Ugh. Of course, he, of course, he's not gonna kick out after. He's gonna kick out after one fucking GTS. Just two. Like Triple H in this game looks like he's 150. Like his face is all sagging. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, I gotta finish this fucking prick off now. There we go. Cam clutch. But I still don't see him giving up. <sighs> what the fuck happened there? Okay. Oh. Um, bleeding, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And by the looks of things, he might be right. Well, you say what you will about John Cena. Whether you like him no, or not, sometimes he's, he's just impossible to fucking counter. The years, John Cena has also become one of the most polarizing figures this industry has ever there seen. There we go. All right. oh, Speaking of counter. John Cena. And he gets back in. And he oh, what the level. fuck? Oh no. Oh, he's going for a fucking roll up. Come on. Oh, I fucking got it. Oh, come on. That's shitty. Alright, fuck him. Alright. This is a set circle. Boom. Dragon Sleeper! Oh. Oh, he powered out of it. Shit. Oh, 
Okay, get up. Wonder if I'll get him. Do I get him? Do I get him? Yes! Oh! Pin. One, two. Okay, yeah. We're fucking wrong area of the map, of the ring, though, that's for sure. Alright. So, uh, that was the third match. I'm not entirely sure to what point this story actually goes up to, but it seems like it's... Um, pretty much in order of what happens. CM Punk wins. the fuck? Who the fuck is... Is that Kevin Nash? Oh, that looked like a very, very light, uh, powerbomb. <laughs> Looks like he, he pulled him up with full force and then just, like, lightly dropped him. Oh shit. Sneaky ass Alberto Del Rio. Oh what? I'm Alberto now. Okay. Ooh. What's his special attack? like a running kick I saw. Stop looking at the ref. Uh -oh, look at what the fuck? There we go. Uh, cross arm breaker. Set him up. Boom. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. There we go. Okay. So, Cena loses, Punk loses, and fucking Alberto Del Rio cashes in, gets his belt, yada yada yada, so forth. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in the fourth match.